Well, hello there, guys. Uh, it's been a while since I made the last tutorial. There's been a lot of shit going on on the on the school, the university. So, well, we're gonna continue this, and this time we're gonna edit a little bit on the team's script, uh, the, the player dot Lua. Uh, notice that we're not in Gary's mode beta anymore. Gary's mode 13 is actually out now. You can, um, if you just update your Gary's mode, it will be Gary's mode 13. Uh, if you followed my Gary's mode 30, how to make a beta ser server thing, then uh, beta dedicated server, uh, you just need to edit in the update uh, .bat file, edit it to Gary's mode instead of Gary's mode beta. I'm gonna put a video up showing you how to do that. How to get the proper Garry's mod dedicated server. But for now, let's start. The first thing we are gonna want to do is open player.lua. Where the hell did it go? Oh, it goes. I have lots of screens around, so. There we go. Uh, okay, there's a couple of things that I didn't like about this script. First of all, this line doesn't allow for simple modification of the number of teams. If you want more teams, we need to edit a lot of shit. That is why we are going to use tables. If you haven't heard about tables, I'm going to try to explain to you what it is. A table in Lua is basically a list. A list with data in it, which we can grab out. Uh, to make a table, you just simply do. A, we're gonna make a local table. A local table will only be accessible in this file, no other Lua files. So local teams, and this is a table with the brackets, the curly brackets, right. Uh, but that's an empty table. We could add stuff to the table like this, like strings, hello, and then each uh, data batch or each point in the table is separated with a comma. So if we say hello world, if I wanted to get only get hello out of this, if I wanted to print hello, I would have to do this teams punctum or punctuation, sorry, uh, one because it's the oh no, sorry, like this in the curly brackets, god damn it, uh, because it's the first value in this table. If I were to say like this um, uh, text one e equals hello, so text one in teams equals hello then this would print out a text that said hello. Okay? I, I hope that clarified a little bit. Uh, yeah, you're gonna understand it soon. Just hold on. So teams is a table now. Teams zero. So team number zero will be a table inside a table. Since this is a table, and we're making a table inside the table, we get what is called a tableception. I'm just kidding. It's just a nested table. A table inside a table. So here we go. Uh, the name is gonna be one value. The name of the, the team, and it's gonna be blue. Not blue like in Team Fortress. Color equals, and we're just gonna grab this since, since this is the color for Team Zero, which we made last time. We're just gonna copy that into our color value. And we also want a weapons. A weapons table. And that's gonna be a table inside a table inside a table. So I, I don't know what we call that. We're going to deep, I guess. Weapons crowbar. Uh, yeah, about this. We're gonna use a function to give a player a weapon. Uh, this function requires a name of a Half-Life 2 weapon. So if we open the player.give function in the documentation, 
these are the weapons we can choose between. As we can see, the first weapon is weapon crowbar. That is the crowbar weapon. If we give a player weapon underscore crowbar, the player will receive a crowbar. Shotgun, AR2, we have all the shit. So, um, yeah. We're gonna give Team Zero a crowbar and a weapon pistol. Oh, sorry. As you can see, the, the pistol is also available. Now I'm just gonna copy paste this, since we don't want to write it again, and make it the team number one table. This is gonna be the red team, and I'm gonna copy the red color over to the color value, and they're gonna get the same weapons. Now it's easy to add a new team, we just do it like this. Team number two is going to be Violet, or whatever. Uh, but we're just gonna start off with two teams. Now this is not really needed, because we could just do it like this. We could just make it check if the table has a number two table, or a number zero table. So if teams n then uh, if not teams n so if, if it can't find for example if we wanted a player to join team 2 and put 2 inside here it will check if it has teams 2 no it doesn't have team 2 teams 2 then return end and we'll stop the script here and return to where it started so if it doesn't have the table then do nothing we're gonna keep this, but we're gonna remove this. Self uh, set player color. We used that function the last time. Right. Now we want to get the table for our team, which is one of these two, depending on the n, as you can see. And we want to get the color value out of that table. So, for example, if we set to zero, uh, team zero. We will get team zero dot color. That is team zero dot color, which is red, green, blue, quite blue, a quite blue color. Next, we want to give the player these weapons in the list, but hmm, we we want to do it with as little code as possible, and it has to be editable to be able to make new teams with more weapons than just two weapons. So what we need to do, what we need to do to manage that is to make a for loop. A for loop will cycle through a table, uh, and we can use the values for our benefit, like this. For k, that is going to be the number in the list. So if it goes through this weapon table, weapons table, this will be the first. So k will be one in the first value and k will be 2 in the second value. And weapon. The second argument here is uh, the data itself, the string here. Weapons underscore crowbar or weapons underscore picks, uh, pistol. In pairs, and then we have to put in the table, which is t uh, teams and weapons. So that will return this table if we're gonna use team 0. If we're gonna use team 1 here, if we have 1 instead of n, this table will pop into here. Remember the end in for loops. And self is still the player. And we're gonna use the function that I looked up on the documentation, give. Which gives a player an item. Give then we need to use the string, the, the value of the of the step we're in, in the for loop. Can't explain it any better, really. So, now it will go through this list. The first value it will come to is the weapons underscore crowbar. So that will pop into the weapons argument, and the wep will be given to the player. And the next cycle will be weapons underscore pistol, which will pop into web and will be given to the player. So if we start a game mode now, 
we, we should get our player color and uh, some weapons actually a crowbar and a pistol just to be totally sure I'm gonna add one thing player strip weapons in case the player oh I mean self sorry self strip weapons in case he has any weapons from before if that's even possible but you never know control s let's play this script oh that was close it's called weapon underscore pistol and um, we have to check something before we do this yeah it's only on initial spawn so we need to move this, uh, this weapon giving part of the function into a separate function so we can call that every time a player spawns instead of just the initial spawn so function apply give game mode weapons like that and we just uh, copy or cut that over here strip and give the player the weapon they want uh, the end here is pretty easy now we just do n equals self team the team function will will uh, return uh, the number of the team is in the player is in the number of the player team team of the player right so let's put that over here there we go I'm not entirely sure if function GM player spawn will happen before or after the initial spawn when a player initially spawns so we'll just drop that in there anyway and hope for the best right so control s that is and um, yep that self everything seems to be ready to go let's go so here we go let's try to join it Really like the new layout of Gary's mod. Looks swell. Right, so we're in the game. And we got both the weapons. Let's see if we can... Uh, we can see ourselves third person oh god what's happening no 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 okay so what we had to f do to fix this model issue is to because it seems the player set model doesn't get cold anymore for some reason so we're just going to put it in the player spawn hook which is when a player spawns in general. Let's remove this and shooting. Script is script is done. Let's try it. Right, so we fixed that. Let's see if the color is here. Weapons are are still here. Let's kill ourselves. Yeah, it works. It's blue. So I, I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys. May the bro code be with you. Goodbye.